Hi everybody, uh, welcome to my video review of the Cargo Light trailer by a company called Micro Light. Uh, this is a very cool um, fully aluminum trailer um, that I purchased a few years back. I haven't seen that many on the road. Uh, and a matter, as a matter of fact, I get a lot of interest every time I pull into a gas station or set it up for camping. Um, I'm constantly being barraged by people with questions about it. I, I've gone so far as to actually carry uh, dealer literature and the cards to the, uh, um, and brochures of the place that I bought it um, to kind of help him out and get the word out. But let me go ahead and start this um, video demonstration here um, and review of this product. Also, I'm going to make this into two parts because there's also um, a rack system um, with the um, awning, which you can see on the left-hand side, which I want to review as a separate review. So let's start off with the trailer. The trailer weighs about 850 pounds. It's completely aluminum. Uh, it actually um, is uh, an RV um, uh, quality trailer in as much as it has a 25 amp service. It says 30 amp, but I'm pretty sure that the um, inverter inside is, for, is 25 amp. Um, it has Marine Co. connections, um, so again, fairly high end. Uh, the black cover you see on the front right there covers the air conditioning um, uh, exhaust port for the air conditioner it has. It has a 5,000 BTU air conditioner built into it. As you can see, the, it's all aluminum diamond plate, uh, aluminum upgraded wheels. It has a 7-pin connector. Um, that way you can keep the battery uh, trickle charged as you're pulling it down the road. Um, and the trailer pretty much came this way. There's a few options I'll talk about here in a minute. Um, that are optional uh, to this trailer series. This is the smallest trailer that they make. They make one above it called the Cargo Light Extreme, which you can actually stand up in. A lot of people ask me, well, gee, you, you can't stand up in it. Well, gee, all I'm doing is sleeping in it, okay? So I don't really see a need to have to stand up in it, but some people, maybe you have trouble bending over. I don't know. Uh, but it's it's the perfect little motel room on wheels. I take it camping. I take it with me everywhere I go. I'm, I'm an avid cyclist. So when I go on bike tours or biking weekends with friends, we throw the bikes in the top rack there and we just take off and we set it up and, and we sleep uh, basically for free minus the cost of a campsite. Let me walk around here. Uh, you got RV doors on both sides. Um, RV screen door as well. Uh, to start with, the diamond plate goes all the way around, as you see. That's the uh, battery box right there. i got a, um, a deep cell marine battery in it. It has RV um, uh, windows, just like you see on a normal full-size um, recreational vehicle. Uh, it came with the Yakima rack, and then I bought all the Yakima rack accessories that go on it. Um, it has a super fan um, as well, which is really nice. It has two directions, uh, two speeds. Uh, really it exhausts out of this thing. It, it created a huge cross flow inside the van at night. Um, I'm just open up the door here. Show you the inside. As you can see on the inside, there's the air conditioner. There's the uh, 25 amp inverter box. I uh, put a microwave in it myself. It, it, you can get a microwave as an option. I bought one for 60 bucks from Walmart. Didn't see a need to pay the cost that they wanted for it. Uh, the um, I'll flip it down here and show you. What's cool is the um, a Weber uh, Q100 barbecue grill fits perfectly under that spot like it was almost made for it. So I keep that there and then of course I got my Honda 2000 watt generator uh, for those times when I'm um, um, out primitive camping basically. I did install, as you can see over here, a, an inverter. That's a 25, or I'm sorry, it's an 800 watt inverter. I um, uh, wired directly to the battery. Um, for um, for things like, as an example, uh, my TV, you can see we have a movie playing right now. And so right now everything's running off battery. Um, and for a, a lot of times, unless I'm running the air conditioner or the microwave, I never really need power for this. The, the battery uh, seems to do a good enough job between the super fan, being able to watch television, uh, and lighting. Uh, we're pretty well good to go. Um, these uh, chairs do come with it. Um, chairs, I guess they're sofas, little couches actually. And we'll, we'll get a better view of this when I open up the back doors in just a second. Uh, here's the roof. You can see it's all fully uh, finished off inside and insulated. Um, I hung the curtains and the curtain rods myself. And then I Velcro. I have some Velcro curtains which go over top of the doors at night so you have complete privacy. Uh, but it kind of impractical to hang a, a rod over that. And I wanted something I could remove or put on as, as I needed it. Uh, you do have power. So we have power here. 110 volt power receptacle and on this side we have pardon me we have 12 volt built right in and you'll see that down here as well on the back side when we get around to there um, it, it's also um, 
Um, it's duplicated on the back side as well. So again, everything is fully aluminum construction. Very lightweight. I pull it with my car. Uh, tie downs. Of course, there's four tie downs. One at each corner. You can't see that one. It's blocked. Uh, the carpet I put in, and if you see right here, um, this um, um, coin style rubber mat I put in as well. I bought that at a uh, Home Depot, and it was like $80. It's the same stuff you use on a garage floor, and I just cut it to fit. It took me about three hours one Sunday, Saturday afternoon to do, and I got it all done. So now we'll go to the back here. What is this? Around the back, a few of the options I got. Um, the trailer hitch is an option. Uh, that's a two inch hitch. I put a one and a quarter inch adapter in it because I sometimes put a, bi a bicycle rack on the back of that there. Um, and then the other option was these barn style doors. It comes with a ramp, a fold down ramp as a, as a standard, which uh, is okay because you can actually put a small four wheeler in here, which I think is what it was made for. Hold on a second, there we go. The original intention was to be a, uh, like a, um, um, a toy hauler for uh, small toys. Uh, but I opted for the barn style doors. I think it's uh, more, what well, makes more sense for me because now if I, when I go camping, I can fold these um, these couches down. See, there's they're uh, covered on the back side, pretty durable material. Uh, and then um, I throw all my camping gear on top of it tents, chairs, grills, uh, camp kitchen, whatever. I can pack this thing full of camping gear. And then when we get to the, our, our campsite, we can set it all up. I do have a video called Extreme Camping. Uh, it's part of my series, and you'll see all of that stuff set up in my yard. Uh, again, there's a 12-volt receptacle there, 110-volt receptacle there. Um, it's actually fairly spacious. You can get a full queen-size air mattress to fit in here. Uh, in some cases, you can get one that's double height as well. Um, I basically, uh, I used to do that, and now I just pull these sofas out at night and sleep on them with a, um, with a, a decent sleeping bag. Um, I like having the ability to sit around and maybe watch TV at night before I go to bed and have a little living room kind of affair set up here. Um, there is no refrigerator. I did buy a, t a Coleman 12-volt um, refrigerator that keeps things fairly cool, not, not necessarily cold, but cool enough that they'll last a few days. And then I have a small... Um, a small ice chest, a Coleman, a three-day ice chest I take with me as well uh, for drinks. Because the whole point of this is convenience uh, with a little bit of luxury in the process. It's not necessarily going to replace, you know, uh, a 25-foot RV or a fifth wheel, obviously. But uh, when there's just a few of you or you just want to take something out in the woods somewhere in the middle of nowhere and you don't want to have to be bothered, uh, this is like the perfect solution. Again, you can see how it's constructed here. It's all aluminum. Uh, there is um, insulation behind here and then the covers. I've actually slept on this um, when it was 20 degrees outside and I, I have a small quartz heater that I bought from Walmart for like $30 uh, that has a, it blows out of the top, not the front. And by doing that, I can actually set it in that little alcove back there and it will run you out of here when it's 20 degrees. Um, and it doesn't really use a lot of, uh, it, it's not a, it's, it's, I, I'm not even sure the size of it, but it's a very small quartz heater. Uh, of course, you do have to have electric power for that or run the generator uh, either way. So back around this side here, it's just opposite of the other side we just looked at. Um, you can see that I have um, um, a, an awning. This is by a company called Rhino. Um, it's called the Sunseeker Awning, which is available. I think I bought mine at autoanything.com. Uh, great people to deal with. Um, I had a few issues with it, and Rhino's actually... Con I've contacted them, and they've sent me replacement parts. So all in all... Um, I've had good luck with it. The, um, the, I bought this from a place called um, Gun Lake Paddle Sports um, in Wayland, Michigan. He's one of the direct dealers uh, from the factory. Um, Jim Mulder is his name. He's been very good about uh, any kind of problems I had. I had a problem with the, um, with the uh, original inverter. They sent me one out. I put it in myself because he's so far away. Uh, then I, I did have a problem with my torsion axles the first year because it has a torsion um, axle system. And uh, I took it back to the dealer, and, and they took it back to the factory, put a brand new torsion axle system on it for me at no charge. Um, and then, uh, and that's, that's about it as far as problems with the trailer itself. So again, I, I think it's, it's an excellent, uh, an excellent purchase. Uh, I'm very happy with it. As you can see, it's it's, it's a very unique product. Uh, let me show you a couple more things right here, real quick. Let me just drag all this out here just to show you. 
underneath here, it has stowage compartment. And you can see, uh, kind of buried in there. And I keep some extra stuff and brooms and whatnot, first aid kit. Uh, but it's pretty good size. It's completely hidden. So until I showed it to you, obviously you didn't know it was there. Again, you can see it's all aluminum construction uh, throughout. There's the, uh, the coin floor that I installed. And then I put these extra D-rings in here just for my carry bicycles and stuff with my grandkids. So uh, over here is another storage. I keep, uh, that's the, um, the, the, um, the power connector I have right there. That's uh, that's the bigger one of the, of, of the ones you really need. I kind of thought it was overkill, but I wanted something uh, decent to have for that. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, I'm going to review the awning as a separate review. Uh, so look for that here in momentarily. So uh, have any questions? Feel free to ask me. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Thanks a lot.